to this Sunday special. Now that the clocks have gone back, I think we all need a go-to recipe to help get us through these cold autumnal nights. And one of these recipes that I'm using today is a Spanish bean casserole. Um, there are many different ingredients and it is inspired by Marcus's sister who lives in Spain. For this recipe, I am going to be using my Le Creuset. I love this pot and pan, this pan actually. This is the ideal type of um, pot to make this casserole. I think this makes about 30 liters worth of um, volume. So I'm turning it on full blast. So I am going to be frying th these chorizo in the pan to exude and release the oils and the flavor from the chorizo. And then I'm going to put it into this bowl while I cook the rest of the meal in this pan with all that juicy flavor. I am not putting any oil into this because this chorizo has plenty of fats and oils and this is going to be our natural oil that we're using so let's put it in shall we i think i hear a little bit of sizzle now so this is how it should look like when some of the oils and the juices from the chorizo are being released into the pan and now i think it's a good time to add in the garlic and also the onions and it will kind of serve as a uh, as a colorant for the onions while that's cooking i'm going to cut up some of these leftover potatoes that i have you could add anything to this dish that you want I just have some of these potatoes that have been in the cupboard for a little while and I don't want to get rid of them. So this is a good use of the potatoes. Alright, so the chorizo is done now and it's nice and crispy. So it is time to remove it from the pan and then I could start on adding the other ingredients. So now I think I'm going to add the potatoes first to get some color in here. And I think we should also add in the, the beans. There are three different types of beans. There is the black bean, there is the cannelloni. There was another one. Uh, butter. Butter bean as well. Thank you. So let's add this. Oh, let's also season this, shall we? I like using these uh, Italian herbs because there's oregano, basil, red bell pepper, marjoram, thyme, rosemary, sage, and parsley. I should also add some salt, shouldn't I? So I am going to be adding some of this chicken stock to it. So these are chicken stock in a pot. I have to add 500 ml of water. And now this stock is going to be chicken stock and this is a good flavoring agent. So let's dissolve this. 
and it just dissolves into your casserole. Here is some leftover chicken that I made a couple of days ago. So it's also a good use of your chicken that you have leftover or any types of meats that you have like pork, beef, whatever you want. Now let's increase the heat. So now let's add the chicken. We have to also add in all this nice chorizo and onion that I fried just a few minutes ago. I'm just gonna scatter onto the top because I don't think these bits need that much cooking. I don't want to skimp out on any of the uh, juicy bits underneath. <laughs> I don't like leaving anything behind. All right, I think that that's good. So I'm just gonna even it out. And then I am going to I'll put the lid on and then turn it off here and then move it to the back and then also lower the heat from there because I don't really want it to have too high of a heat and I think oh, oh it's hot and I think we will leave it to simmer for a good 40 45 minutes and then it should be ready to eat from there I smell something fishy. You're not subscribing to our show, but it's easy. Just hit the subscribe button. It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. This parsley is to add some freshness to the dish. It's ready. Okay, it's going to be hot. It's going to be really hot. Oh. Okay, so you can see that it is all ready now. Um, there is quite a bit of it. But everything is nice and cooked now. So now let's add some of this chopped parsley for some freshness. Okay, so this tastes a little bit spicy because of the chorizo. I think that the chorizo flavor is uniform throughout the whole dish, which is really nice. And the chicken is kind of moist. Let me have a taste of the chicken now. The chicken does taste somewhat juicy as well because of the broth from the chorizo soup. Um, no, but it all tastes really good and it does all marry really well. Wow. Um, I think that the parsley does add like a nice fresh element to the whole dish. And I think this is, this is something that you can make in like a big batch and then you can have it like a few days so, so that you won't have to cook during the week, which I think is such a great idea. So I do recommend you all try this nice and easy to maintain dish, have some leftovers, and yeah, I think, give it a go, see what you think, because I think this is definitely a winner. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel today. If you liked anything that we've done for you today, Hit the like button for those of you that have a subscribe please please hit the subscribe button and we also appreciate your comments and until next time we'll see you later bye now let's have some more food